Hello. It is I. I accidentally deleted the old intro. So, you get this instead. So, this vlog mm, will make a little less sense now. And I also did a haul of, all, or like, a more in-depth haul than the last video um, of all the art supplies I got to use in this video. So, if you want me to re-go through them in the future, I kept all the packaging. So, I had to be open to the idea. But, until then, uh, or, but I'll let you go on to the vlog. Um, okay. Basically, I think where I last left, um, I was doing my practice, like, with my sketch so I could practice with the materials. And I streamed that. You should go check that out. Um, but, uh, straight after that, I went and hung out with Cats and Space 18. Uh, she's cool. And I didn't film any there because we didn't really do much. <laughs> and... I just got back, and it is 6.05, but 6. Um, so, basically, I'm gonna touch up the final sketch one, where the, like, the second drawings sketch, because I didn't like the one girl on the green-yellow side. Um, so I'm gonna redraw that little part of it, and then I'm gonna get right into painting my drawing of cats in space. Um, but, um, sorry, I'm kind of tired. Also, another thing, I'm gonna apologize for the late vlog. It was supposed to be up, like, this morning, and then it fit, and then it didn't start uploading until, like, 10. So, and then it didn't, like, almost get done. Almost. It was at, like, 16 minutes left or something. I, like, 12.30, and then it failed with, like, 16 minutes left after it was gonna take, like, two hours. And it had already taken two hours, I mean. Um, and so I had to reprocess the video because that's just how my setup is. It's pl problematic at best because I have, like, no storage on my phone. I have to get more storage. Anyways, and, um, it's not even done processing again. It's at 87. And then it's going to probably take another two hours to upload. So it's not going to be up till late tonight. And then I and then I can start processing this video. But the problem with that is I can't really start it until that one's like uploaded. Because uh, I can't like I don't have enough storage to record more. And I have to keep the videos from not uh, from yesterday on my phone in case it fails again so I don't lose all the footage <sighs> and I mean I could um quickly move some stuff over to my computer or like delete some stuff but that's problematic at best also um I mean the only things I could really delete a lot of to get a lot of storage is videos is the main thing that takes up my storage but I can't delete that but I could um I mean I have a lot of photos but that doesn't really make a dent in storage you know that's why people have like 3,000 photos I have like probably that many actually because they're all memes if um but and it doesn't take up like almost any storage so here we are <laughs> so um you know I'll sketch this up and I'll figure it out um this is also an apology in advance if okay what I'm thinking right now is I delete it anyways and I hope for the best uploading it and if it fails too bad or I could just delete the least important parts of the vlog and it just I can just make a little extra clip for the vlog where it's gonna be real choppy because it's it's really long anyways so it would it, it could benefit from me chopping some stuff out that's probably what I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of the least important parts of the vlog and if it fails again then I'll just upload it without the parts that I cut out so we'll see if we'll see how that goes Hi. Oh, wow. It's so much darker. 
Okay, that's a little bit. Okay, um, I fixed up the sketch on this one a little. I'm not entirely happy with it, but I mean, it's gonna be good enough. And I looked through some of the old footage. Um, it finished processing, and I started uploading it. And I looked through some of the footage, and I couldn't part with any of it, so I didn't save any storage. So let's just hope that while I'm in the middle of this, oh my gosh, my dog wants out. Um, it doesn't just randomly stop without me realizing, and I like finish the entire illustration, and I, you don't get to see any of it. And I really wish it was brighter. I don't have my heat lamp. My mom needed it, and so now I don't have it. I did clean it up a little. It looks foggier in real life, or in on camera than in real life, but whatever. Um, okay, so, uh, so I have my paint and, and my paint brushes and my liners, and I also have this brush pen if I want to use it, and the canvas. So all the things I got, I feel like I got another thing. I mean, I got the palettes, but I don't know, maybe I'll use this. Whatever. I'm going to start off with this liner. I know it feels pretty cheap, but, um, yeah, let's just go right in. I'm going to start with the hair, because that's what I'm best at. Okay. This canvas is probably going to shred up this tip, because the tip feels, like, not soft, just kind of, like, I don't know. And the canvas is pretty rough. Okay, the bangs are looking a little chunky. But that's okay. Um, I'm not really liking the face. I forgot when I lined that I don't like coloring in the eyeballs when I do button eyes. And her face is a bit deformed. Um, <laughs> a lot deformed. Because then, it, but I don't like coloring in the eyes because then they look eyeless and soulless. So. Mistake on my part, but that's okay. Wow, I'm really good at commentating while I'm drawing, apparently, <laughs> as we have discovered in the past, like, minute and a half. But. Okay, not bad. Here's her shirt. You can probably see it better. Um, now that it's lined, but I don't think it looks as good. Oh, this is going to be a little harder, these little letters. I'm trying really hard not to color them in. Okay. I didn't do too well on the T. But that's okay, which is the one in the middle. Okay. I'm not as happy with this as I would have hoped. My dog keeps whining if that's what you hear in the background. But, I mean, what can you do? Okay, well, the, the crisscross pattern wasn't working, so I just colored it in all the way black. Um, yeah, oh, and if you want to see the process of making this sketch, you should check out my stream where I did it. It's like a half an hour long, but, um, for the past... Or for the last little bit. Uh, I'm just kind of talking. Okay, so I'm done with the lining. Um, I don't think I'll be using this brush pen. Because I actually didn't buy it with all the other stuff. And I didn't really keep it in mind when deciding what I would use. And I didn't really think about 
And I was going to use the of this picture. Okay. Um, maybe I will want the palette because there is some mixing involved. Because I'm going to need a pink color. And I should probably get some water. Um. Wait. Um. I have nothing to put water in. Oh, I got something. Okay, give me two seconds. Okay, I have an old gum container that I usually keep hair ties in, but there's only like two hair ties left, so I dumped them out onto my dresser. So that I have water. Um, I'm gonna use the biggest one to mix because I probably won't use it actually painted. And then I can scoop D better. Okay, I'm gonna scoop D some red in, and it's kind of like a vermilion red. It's it's very bright and it's almost a little orangey. And okay, this brush is very stiff. Here, I'm gonna move my drawing out of the way while I mix colors. Yeah, this paint brush is very stiff. But I mean, it could be worse. It's st it's keeping its shape. I just have a feeling it'll be very scratchy to paint with. Um, where'd my white go? Yes, because I need to make a tiny bit of a pink. I probably got too much red. Okay. Um, it's kind of jelly-ish. Okay. Ooh. No, I got pink in it. Okay, well, it's too late. I already got a bunch of red in my white. It's okay if I ruin them. color and I think I'm going to just take some other brush to scoop out the red because I was too lazy. What are you guys doing? Okay then black clip my dad decided to come up the stairs as loud as physically possible which is convenient. Yeah, but then these paper scissors are stiff. This one's a little less stiff, but I think it's just because it's a little longer. So, um, so I have a pink. I also need a light blue. It's gonna have a touch of red in it, but it'll be probably drowned out because this is a very dark blue. It's almost navy. Almost. And then I kind of want a very light blue. Like a very light blue. And this is still dark blue. <laughs> Actually, not even like any light blue. Like it's like a pastel blue and this is like a navy blue. So it's not working. But it is actually blue and not like a indigo color. You know? Okay. This water might turn purple. Kind of a fun pretty good purple. It's like a foggy purple. Um, more white. There's gonna be a lot of white in this mixing, because she kind of wears, or the, her hoodie has, like, pastelis. Okay. I probably got enough white. thought my white paint was my water, and it's not. Oh. Sorry, I should probably move that water slightly out of the way. I wish I could see the spot. Well, I'm really good at being a YouTuber. Okay. 
I don't want most of this video to be mixing, actually. So, I'll cut here and I'll get all the colors I need and I'll meet back up with you, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I mixed all my colors. Um, I have, okay, I have that red, which I just got way too much of. Then that pinkish, you know, pastel-y color, this blue pastel color, and then like a slightly not navy brown. It's almost indigo-y, but less purpley than indigo. It, it's not as dark, but dark. Um, some yellow and some light yellow. Just black, so I can use it, and a light green and some of the dark green. Like the color that the green comes as. Um, so, I think I'm gonna start with her hair. And I would do her hair, well, okay, maybe I'll start with her hoodie. Because that's what these pastel colors are for, along with her pants. So, um, okay, this brush is already giving me troubles because I can't stay within my line art. And this is the smallest brush. Okay, if I hold the actual bristles, <laughs> I can make it more pointed. Okay, it doesn't really pick up much paint either. It just kind of has it on there, you know? And this is not exactly what the hoodie looks like, but that's this is what it's gonna look like, okay? I made way too much of this paint color, but that's okay. Her hair can be that color or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, way too much paint. It's globbed on there. There's the pink and then there's the pastel blue. And, and the pink is totally globbed on there and I barely got enough blue to get to cover that little tiny rectangle. Okay. Um... Okay, and then I'm gonna make the letters this light green color. Even though this is not really what the hoodie looks like, but that's okay. Okay, the good thing about, um, I made, when I was lining, I made the mistake of filling in my tea too much. I can kind of cover that up here. Kinda. <laughs> and the S, okay. We're looking pretty rough, and I got some blue where it wasn't supposed to. Um... Okay, I don't really... I have white out somewhere. Ah. Okay, I... This is okay to use the white out because I got the white out from the dollar store. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. And... The hoodie is all black. But I want the line art to still work. So... What I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna paint it black, but... I'm going to try and leave some white space around all the details. I don't know how well that's going to go, though. I know I could have used the white paint, but whatever. The white out came from the dollar store and it dries quicker. Most likely. I guess I don't know how long it takes for these paints to dry, but probably a long time. Because it always seems that they take 10 years. They take 10 years when you want them to dry quick and they... Okay, um, it looks a lot better if I just fill it in, from what I can tell. And I've already started filling it in accidentally, so it's too late now. And I can go in with my white out or maybe the white paint so I can act, use straight up white paint on the canvas. Or maybe there'll be enough contrast between the pen and the paint. The paint seems to be a bit darker than the pen. The pen has gone, gone like an off black color. And the paint is a nice black, but that will probably change. Oh, and I got pink in my black, and I can't see if my paintbrush is black or not because the bristles are black, or has black paint on them. Um, okay. Yeah, no, this brush is very scratchy. You can probably hear it being all scratchy. Um, okay. I'm gonna make some progress and I'll check back in. Ah. 
Okay, I pressed uh, I didn't pause this. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. If you heard that voice, that's Lavender Town. You should check her out. She's cool. Okay. So, basically what I've done is I colored in the hoodie all the way. <laughs> I dipped the corner of the canvas in my yellow. Um, I painted her black and I put her pants back. But don't worry. Uh, those are gonna get some texture. Or get some more color. She's not gonna be wearing all black. Um, okay, I'm gonna get my medium. This is, uh, I think this one's the very middle one, because I have five. Um, and I'm gonna get one of my pastel colors, I'm gonna do the pink. And I'm gonna kind of squish it so it's more circular than rectangly, and I'm gonna like stamp it on, kind of kind of a cloudy looking thing because that's kind of how the pants are but don't overdo it or but try not to do too much because I have two more colors to fit on here um I'm just gonna switch brushes because I'm too lazy mm, I believe this one's a touch bigger but I can't tell <laughs> um I'm trying to get all my pastel blue because I plot because it looks like I did not make enough. Well, that's okay. I'll just use a little less than intended. And the pants aren't actually all this color, but that's the colors I used for the hoodie. So. Those are the colors we're going to use for the pants. To kind of unify it a little more. And I do want most of the pants to be a covering color, and I'm gonna get a different, different brush. Because again, I'm really lazy. And I'm gonna get my light green color, which again, I did not make enough of. And... Um, cover. Any big, empty areas. Um, and okay. Okay, I definitely did not get enough green, and it's getting all stuck in my brush. And it's kind of fading into the black because they're pastel colors, which wasn't the best decision on my part. But I'll start five. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, the pants are mostly covered. Almost all my paintbrushes are in the water, other than my big giant one, because I don't, I don't like that brush. It's too big for the size of the canvas I got, which is 4 by 6 by the way, if you were wondering. I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, but that was, like, earlier today, so I don't remember exactly if I mentioned that. I might have. I think I did. Um, and I went out of the lines a little there, and I'm so glad I have this white out, and it happens to be from the dollar store, because if it's not, it won't, if it wasn't from the dollar store, I would not allow myself to use it, but it is. It is indeed from the dollar store. Um, so yeah, okay, this is where we are. Okay, you can't see it, the colors are a bit more prominent in real life on the pants. Okay, um, and I don't really have a skin tone. I was gonna figure that out later. I'm gonna do the blonde color. So I'm gonna do with my second smallest brush, smallest, and I mixed up this pastel yellow color, just as a blonde color, because she does have her hair like galaxied, but um, I wanted to find a place for the yellow, and she used to have it kind of blonde on the bottom, because she dyed her hair purple, but then the purple came out in like a week, so. Um, so 
So she had blonde on the ends for a while until she dyed it all galaxy colors. And now it's kind of a smoky gray. And there's a hint of blue. Or, and the blue's still there because blue hair dye is like lives longer than humans. Um, I probably put too much yellow for how high her blonde went, but that's okay. I just want to use the yellow. I don't know how I'm going to get a brown color. I might. Okay, I'm going to get some red. Just a teeny tiny touch of red, like the tiniest bit of red. Um. And... Uh, okay, amount of yellow. And just a touch of black. And mix that. And I have a brown color, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on the back. Okay, um... It's not the best brown, but it's definitely, okay, it just looks black on camera, but it's definitely a brown. It's a, it's not the best brown, but it is indeed a brown. So that's just gonna have to be what we use. It's definitely not the right brown. But again, a brown nonetheless, which is kind of most I was hoping for. And I'm gonna take that. Um, I've colored all the stuff that needs to be brown and I'm going to get more yellow. Like a big chunk of yellow. As a little um, um, kind of a blending area to make it blend a little better. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, that's not that bad. It's definitely too dark. Um, that initial brown, like the brown I've mixed up now, would actually be a lot better for it. But it is working. Crap! I accidentally sponged some of the brown out, like the darker brown. So let's see how much of that I can get. Um, I made a little more and it's way too red. Now it's too bright. Okay. Okay, it's kind of bl just black, but that's okay. Now this is gonna be the biggest challenge. The only thing that's left, as you might notice, is a skin tone. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get my yellow. A good amount of yellow. Okay, we're gonna get, get the pink. Not the red, but the pink. And I'm gonna mix that up and we're gonna get Orange, which is really close to skin color. Actually, that's not a bad skin tone. It's a para it looks like it's gonna be a little more salmony. Wait, I got it. Look at that. That's a freaking skin tone. I am a master. Okay, I have my medium brush. I have it on my medium brush at the moment. Um. But I want it on my small brush. I probably could have saved the amount of paint or the paint that was on my brush already, but it's too late. I already put it in the water. And I only need to color a little bit of this. Um, I'll have to reline her face. And the skin tone is merging with the liner. So it will smudge. Definitely a lot. Okay. Yeah. 
The liner is so smudged. Now, one last thing. I'm going to get my teeny tiniest brush, and I'm going to get that white color. And I'm going to outline the little... Um, I'm just going to use it straight out of the jar. Ooh, I got a big clump. That's not what I want. Um, the kind of net part of the pants. Okay. This lining is not going the best. But, I mean, it's not... It's pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, the whole thing has turned white. I would have been better using the white. Okay, I colored the whole thing white. And I'm going to get the back of my paintbrush. And I'm going to scratch off most of this white paint because I got way too much on there. And I accidentally scratched off some of the surrounding blue, so I'm just going to get a random color. Oh, wow, of course, the one that I had the least of. Um, I, did have, I do have a little tiny bit left, so luckily it is safe. And I'm going to reline the face. Oh, crap, this is not. This is the chisel nib. Crap, there's one with a chisel and there's one with a bullet, and I didn't know I grabbed the one with a chisel. And I was using it like a bullet nib, so the eyeball. <laughs> oh, crappy. Okay, don't worry about it. We have wide out to fix our problems. Wide out is the answer to life. Okay, I have to let that white out dry. And actually, the paint dries quite quickly. Plus side of cheap paints. Of these paints. They dry quickly. <laughs> that That's about it. There's limited color choice. But you can get a skin tone and a blonde-ish color. You can get there. It's just a bit difficult. Okay, and I have a teeny tiny bit of my skin tone left. That I'm going to use to fix the disaster. Oh crap, I have... I was too impatient. It's okay. This is just the practice drawing. I'm not even done. And ooh, I should probably do some sort of background. What color have I not used? I used all the colors. Primers and green, and then and black or white and black. Yeah, no, I used all of them. Um, I do want it. Yeah, well, it's her. Okay, this girl, um, Sydney loves pink so she's gonna have pink background ish it's, i'm not gonna cover the entire canvas pink just like kind of behind an area behind her um i could do it like a triangle shape kind of like in sketchbooks when they use copics and they color shapes behind things to be a, to give it a good like silhouette i'm gonna do that because i like triangles triangles are cool I was silent for the entirety of me coloring in this triangle. Okay, um, I need a slightly smaller brush. I colored in most of the triangle. Now I just need to get the parts that are, like, a lot closer to this character. You can kind of see what I'm doing, you know? Um, like, if you watch this without audio, you'd be quite confused. But, like, 
you would kind of understand what was happening. But it's probably definitely helping by explaining, in light, at least in some way, what I'm doing. Also, the triangle has literally nothing to do with anything. I'm just like, it needs something more in the background. And I don't want to paint the entire background. Okay, I feel like I'm, now I have to do this. I don't have my, very much of that light blue. But it's okay, I can make more. I'm going to do the same thing, but with light blue too, because she loves cotton candy colors, and this is going to be a great thing. And she's going to let. And if you want this painting, cats and face, I don't really care. You can have it. Do whatever you want. It's definitely not the best. And if you really do want it, I would love to do the same thing again, except, like, better. And also, I didn't really think about this pose. So, like, if you do want this, sure. But, I can do better. Which reminds me, I need to update on Instagram. <laughs> I haven't put, I've finished my sketchbook almost entirely, other than literally the very last page, and that's it, and I'm going to stream that, um, later this week. Probably, mm, I don't know what day. Later this week. I'll figure out a date on Monday, hopefully. Hopefully. Which means don't get mad at me. When I procrastinated and I don't have a date on Monday. Okay. Um, that triangle is uneven. That's okay. Okay, my palette is absolutely covered in paint. Which is a good feeling. And this is what the final product came out looking. You can kind of tell I freaked up on the face and, like, about everything. And you can't really read her hoodie. But it worked. I guess. You know, it's not the worst. Okay, these paints aren't, aren't the worst. I, it's mostly... Like, paints aren't that bad. It's mostly the brushes. Um, because they're so scratchy and you can't really get a good shape at all with them. Um, but this is not final thoughts. Um, I've only finished this drawing. Okay, this is our 17 minutes. <laughs> I've been... This one clip is 17 minutes. That was, like, a lot of painting. Um. But. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat dinner. And. Um. I'll be back to do this. Um. I most likely won't finish this tonight, actually. So, if it randomly becomes daytime, don't be surprised. But, yeah. Um. I will start this tonight, at least, though. So. I'll be back. Okay, it's still dark. Um, the other video has not uploaded still. It is about 80% done. <sighs> um, pray for me, that's when it failed last time, so let's hope. Um, knock on wood. But, okay, I did finish the one painting, and pa painting, 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 painting. painting. I don't know. Um, but, and it turned out okay. Um, it was mostly the brushes that were a problem. But, um, I'm now having second thoughts about, um, doing this illustration with the cheap art supplies. One, because I have two very small characters that would be hard to detail in any way with the brushes. Because the smallest one would, like absolutely blur that knife out of existence so i'm thinking i'm going to put this onto a normal piece of paper or like just keep it around um and put it on a normal piece of paper like in my new sketchbook that i'm hopefully getting for christmas um because i'm like 
my other sketchbook is full. Like, there's the last page and I'm streaming it. Actually, I could do this for the final page of my sketchbook. If you think that would be fun. I mean, but I don't want to ruin... I'm actually quite happy with this other than the one person. But I kind of want to just detail it on the canvas a bit. Like, just kind of doodly on it. Not really very seriously. And just have this. Because I don't really want to paint it. Um, with the cheap art supplies. And I don't really, I'm not very good at painting, so I don't really want to paint it. Because I want to save the concept for, like, graphite. Because I feel like I'm best with graphite, and it's a good concept, and I like it. And I like this layout and stuff. So I don't think I'm going to be doing this one, painting-wise. But, um... If YouTube demands it so, I can copy this onto a normal piece of paper and just paint the canvas and then leave this here, you know, and do it for both. And that would be a happy middle. But um, I feel like this gives us a good enough taste of cheap art supplies. I mean, there was probably also some flaws in my technique of how I did it, but... You know, and I might just throw this palette away because there's so much paint on it and I hate like, oh, and it's real crunchy. It's like wet and crunchy. Oh, frecky. Well, that was a nice adventure for you guys to the floor. I'm pretty sure this was the right way. Uh, I don't know which way is which, so I'm just going to end the clip. I don't know. I think it's the way I win. Um... Either way, I'm going to end the clip so I don't have a bunch of footage where it's upside down. Okay. It should be good now. Yeah, I'm probably just going to throw this pad away. It's sacrificed to the cheap paints. Um, and it's too late to save it now. I also have another canvas. And um, since I'm not doing this one, unless YouTube demands it so, um, I can erase this one and do another one. So if you want me to paint something, whether with the cheap paints or I can borrow some paints from my merm. Because she has a lot of acrylic paints that I can borrow and stuff. As long as I don't use, like, an entire thing of paint, you know? Um. Yeah, I'd be happy to do a little painting, even though I'm really bad at it. So, I have my brushes. I was just doing the two bright spray challenge for this. You know, I have stuff around here that I could use. That is a lot better. Oh, one turkey. I don't know if this is upside down. I'm pretty sure it's not. But I don't know. Whatever. If it is upside down, then I can just cut out footage because I always record too much. And this video is going to be too long as is because I have like three or four separate eight minute clips. Plus some. So. Also, um, if you have any ideas what I should do with this paint, I, again, I can do the other two drawings. Um, or the liners or whatever. Um, in the future, I don't know what I'm doing with them now, because I just kind of have them, but I'll keep them around. You know. Why not? Um, but, yeah. I didn't know if that was right side up or not, so I'm going to do the outro and make sure it's right side up in the outro. <laughs> I mean, it was probably right side up, but I don't know. Um, well. I stopped in the middle of my outro. <laughs> um, anyways, I have juice now, first of all, in a Pokemon cup. It's apple cider, actually, but it's not heated up, so it's just apple juice, okay? I just realized I'm drinking apple juice, and I have Dave Strider glasses, so I need to, like, complete the look. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna finish the outro with Dave Strider. It's good freaking juice. Um... Anyways, you should check out <laughs> It's Weird Wearing Sunglasses Inside in Winter at nighttime. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to take a shower and then I do. Uh, I still have time. Okay, anyways. Um, uh, check out the description. There will be my Twitter, which I have started up again because my old one got deadified. 
so you should check that out. I'm trying to kind of rebuild that. Um, and uh, check out my Instagram. There's a lot of drawing stuff, and this video is really related. So if you like this video, I would definitely recommend checking out my Instagram. And um, I'm about to hit 50 followers there, so hey, join me. And we can get to 50 followers, and I'll do a live stream. Uh, filling up the last page of my sketchbook, and then and then we can do a sketchbook tour here. And check out my main channel where I do music covers and stuff. And hopefully, there was something posted just recently. So, like, just like a couple days ago, a day or two ago, more of. Um, well, no, a couple days, it's like two or three, so not much of a difference. Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, there's something there, so you should check that out. Okay, cool. Um, smack the wall a lot. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed and check out all the stuff, and bye!